welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your girl Oluwakemi Adesola. If you're new here, what's up? I'm glad you're here. I'm happy you're here. I mean, if you are an OG, a long time subscriber, what's up? What's up? You know how we do it here. I'm happy that you are back here as well. Anyways, I don't want to say it's been a minute because actually it's been days. It's been weeks and i'm sorry about that i've just been busy with other things in my life anyways today is going to be the last video on the sit down talk about india and i'm going to be talking about things you should know before coming to india to study things you should know on how to survive in india things you should never do if you are coming to india to study or if you know you're going to be staying here for a while so i'll be right yeah so guys i'm going to tell you guys a short story which will a personal story by the way which would lead to my first point so when i was coming to india i had my friend do my whole admission process and all of that so i arrived in india in 2016 though things are way better now but in 2016 when i arrived i got to the airport you know everywhere was nice it was clean beautiful i was seeing indians i was seeing white people and in my head i was like yay i have finally arrived in the abroad you know what i'm saying and you know everything just seemed quite different i mean very different from where i was coming from nigeria so i was so excited like yes i finally arrived i will show them they will take you know that kind of thing so my friends came to pick me at the airport we got into the cab you know the journey from the airport to the house everything was going smooth i was seeing flowers i was seeing good roads i was seeing um like electronic billboards everywhere and i was just like ah god by the time i start uploading on my instagram people will know what's up and you know i'm already living the good life um about 20 minutes away from the airport things started looking quite different you know on the main road i started seeing cows i started seeing lots of dogs i started seeing cats i started seeing how dirty everywhere was looking and i was like oh, wait <laughs> this is not the aesthetic i thought i would be seeing you know and i was like what's going on why am i seeing so many cows and cow poops everywhere and then you know they just started laughing like <laughs> you know that laughter sounded like you don't know what is going on you, you don't get it and i was like ah they have gets me finally like what's going on so they made me realize that well the fine place the beautiful place that i'm going to see ends like way back like now this is the real india and i was like wow so all those things you see in movies beautiful places they just actually select the very fine places in india and i was like okay so now you know those things have become like a part of me now i am i'm used to seeing places like that and in fact if i'm going anywhere and i'm not seeing cows i'm not seeing cow poops i'm not seeing lots of dogs i'm not seeing cats i start thinking that do people live here am i going somewhere are you trying to kidnap me uber driver you know i'll get worried because seeing those things have become very very normal and not seeing them is quite unusual for me so that drives me to my first point if you are coming to india to study or coming to visit or whatever whatever high expectations you have please as soon as you land at the airport as soon as you arrive kill it like completely kill it because now there are several places in africa in nigeria where i come from that are more beautiful than india i stay in bangalore by the way even though i have visited some other states so yes the first thing that will help you that will help you cope or that will help you settle down faster and you know um see things in a more realistic way is that immediately you arrive at the airport please kill your expectation whatever high hopes you have about india kill it 
that is the first thing now the second thing is if you're coming here to study be sure that you are coming here to study don't come to India and you know after a year or two you drop out of school and you start doing other things it gives us African us black people it gives us bad names here and you know now when they see students especially when we have issues with the police or something that's the first thing they say that we come here as students and along the line we deviate and start doing other things it's actually giving us a very very bad name here so if you're coming here to study please be here to study make sure you're not involved in shady things make sure you're not involved in bad things so um, you're not going to earn yourself a very bad name which is going to rub off on us other black people so please do us that favor that's the second thing that you should know now the third thing that you should know is that if you are here and your papers expires i'm talking about your visa extension your registration or whatever it is your papers particular your passport your international passport if it expires and you know you don't have the means of renewing it or your time here i elapsed you have to leave please pack your bags and go back to wherever you're from or wherever you want to relocate to next don't continue staying here with expired papers because if the police get their hands on you that's it like that's it because recently there's a deportation camp and you're not even going to be allowed to pick a pin of your properties here it is from the deportation camp back to your country so of what use is all the years you spent here and you have to go back home and you're not going back with any of your personal belongings that's bad so if your papers any of your papers have expired and you know that you do not have the means to renew any of it please book your flight and go back home you have a life back there you have your parents there you have your siblings there go back there now another thing you should know is that first thing avoid as much as you can as much as you can as much as possible avoid having any issues with the police because we never win when it comes to indian police Africans cannot win. Us black people, we cannot win when it comes to them. Avoid getting into fights with Indians also. Whenever you see that you're having um, an altercation with them and it's almost turning physical or you have to shout, you have to do all of that. Because once Indians see that you're having problems with one of them, they just start coming. They start crowding around you and at that moment it is no longer safe for you. If I must say, Indians are somewhat violent people and once things turn physical, my dear, someone might end up losing their lives and if police comes to intervene in that kind of issue before you're able to use english to explain what exactly happened if you are not at fault you're already going to take the blame because they'll explain to the police officer in their own language and they might have said all sorts of things that you are not going to understand so to be on the safe side please it is better not to have any problems with police anything that's going to involve police anything that's going to look like fights arguments you know having issues with any indian citizen try as much as possible to avoid it i've been in situations whereby uh, i've seen people uh, I've, I've seen people have issues with police and they were clearly not even at fault but because of language barrier and you know my person is my person they just the police just have to side with their own people and at the end of the day the black person had to pay some money or spend some time in in the police cell so which is not good all these things rubs off on the rest of the black people here so it is better to just avoid it now i'm going to say one thing that you should be aware of before coming here or one thing you should do before coming here is if you're coming here as a student please learn an andy work except if your parents are like very rich and for example if you're nigerian they can afford to send you like 100,000 200,000 every month okay okay it's fine you can just come here do your school to house thing every day but if you know that 
your parents are just trying their best to like see you through school please try and know how to do something be it cutting hair for men making hair for women you know you're into makeup so many things you, or maybe you know how to cook african meals because there are people here that do not know how to cook but they enjoy eating the traditional meal so yes if you can do that you can turn it into a business basically whatever you know how to do you can get here and turn it into a business for yourself and that's going to bring in extra cash for you because if you have extra cash if you have money here there is a level of comfortability that you are going to enjoy so it is very advisable for you to know how to do something put it into practice and turn it into a business for extra income for example me i make hair i'm into makeup i do so many things on the side you know and i also have my youtube channel that brings in money for me but majorly i make hair for women so yeah and if i also have the opportunity of learning how to cut hair for men trust me i am going to take it because and what goes a very very long way for whoever has that um ability to do it whoever has the talent yeah so uh, another thing you should know is that India is not somewhere that you will come and think you can bunk classes you go to classes whenever you want you know attendance is not necessary my dear no here even if you're in the IR institution you're, you're here for your tertiary education you still get treated like you are in secondary school that's how it is your attendance you have to come to school regularly you have to take tests I mean you don't want problems with the foreigner registration office and it is written on your on our um, registration and our extension that if you miss school for more than two weeks your school have every right to go and report you at the foreigner registration office and if you don't have a valid excuse like oh maybe you were sick you were bedridden or you traveled out of the country for something very important and you have documents to back it up they are very much going to deport you back to your country so india is not somewhere that you're going to come to and think you can just go and you know chill enjoy your life and you just go to school to write exams no they're not even going to register you for exams so here is somewhere that you should come and be very serious with whatever you are here for and just get out of here that's another thing so i would also say that one thing you should know is that unlike um united states of america london like the uk where you can go there as a student and you're going to have permits to work like you can work on the side for a few hours just to earn extra cash india is not like that first of all which work are you going to do and how much are they going to pay you so that is not even an option for instance in the united states there are restaurants that need that needs people to like do the dishes clean the floor and they get paid good at least to uh to a very good extent they get paid but here it is not like that i think the only job that africans can do here are people who speak uh languages like french spanish german yes there are some jobs for them which they can do on the side and the pay isn't even that enticing it's not that great so apart from having your annual work having a a professional job or i must say or a job on the side other than the underwork is not something that comes easy yeah you have to be able to speak some other languages apart from english and all of that so lastly i would say that india is not somewhere that you'd come and you say after your studies you're going to uh, start working here or something no that rarely happens here the only thing that can make you stay back here and be valid and have your papers still intact is if you get married to an indian so that can help you you know arrange your papers to be able to stay here but if you don't have that opportunity there is nothing that can make you stay back after completing your education that you came here for so yeah just do whatever you came here to do go back to your country or relocate to where you want to work or further your education so that is from me that's all i was able to write down and this is going to be the last sit down video on my indian bangalore 
series so um the next thing you're going to be seeing on the indian series is um are going to be vlogs so i'm going to be taking you through restaurants um fun places what the nightlife is like here going on road trips visiting different places so that is what you are going to be seeing from now at least i think throughout december january and february it's just going to be enjoyment on this channel i'm going to be enjoying and you are going to be watching me do it so uh if you're in india and you're up for collaboration please um you can message me on my instagram it is at sugarated underscore or you can send me an email or at this or like me at yahoo.com the details are going to be in the description box down below if you're not yet subscribed to my channel makawai what exactly are you doing what did i do to you click on that subscribe button right now i love you guys share this video with all your loved ones give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video bye